Hello! Welcome back to my channel! So it seems like it's been forever since I've done a dupe or be dupe video and or maybe it feels like it's been a while since I've released one and filmed one. Sometimes I film stuff like I filmed something back in June and I still haven't released it yet so this is technically July just past my birthday and I haven't released um some videos from back in June. So anyways, we want to get started today. So I do have the dupe or be dupe video going on and sorry my eyes just started watering a little bit so I wanted to fix that because that's not the palette's problem. It's my eye problem. Okay, so we lo are looking at the ABH palette and in a little bit I'm going to do some comments on it. Um, so you may hear some of the comments again. I apologize. I'm just absolutely excited. I do have a tip or trick on how to use ABH with the fallout, how to control it a little bit better, and how to get your money's worth out of an ABH palette that has a lot of fallout. So stay tuned because that little tip or trick is going to be out there in a minute. The ABH palette, as you can see, it's like really worn looking. And overall, I mean, I have used it a lot. But yeah, it just it, it's really worn. And so I have to clean these bad boys often. Now the colors in here are absolutely stunning. I almost didn't go for this palette. And I, and I don't know, I just wasn't overwhelmed with the palette at first until I bought it. And then once I bought it, I freaking love this palette. So if you like neutrals, you like some pinks, you like some golds, this palette is it. But this palette is also like $45. And then you have shipping. So what I love is that Shop Hush has some companies that do some of the dupes. And Bad Habit from ShopHush.com has done the Arabesque palette. And so the Arabesque palette, I love the names because it's all about ballet. I mean, even the Grand Plie, and we used some Grand Plie on this eye today. I will say there, this palette, if I didn't know better and they just gave me these pans, totally would think it's a soft glam palette. Like, you popped out these pans and you put them in a different container where I couldn't see it wasn't the plush ABH, I would not be able to tell a difference. The only difference you're going to see with this palette is your pocketbook at $16. That's right. Your pocketbook is going to save money. I love dupes that are really true dupes that do it at a... that matches the quality of, of an expensive $45 palette and performs exactly the same. This Arabesque palette is probably the closest out of all the dupes that I've done to be spot on exact even down to the fallout. So when you wa keep watching the video and you see how I use a palette to get the most out of the palette that has a lot of fallout, the, the tips and tricks I give will also work with this one because again, it is freaking spot on. I just can't get over how close these are. So in some of the other videos, usually when it gets down to these like metallic kind of shades, that's where the colors kind of break up. These spot on, like boom, you can't tell a difference. I was really, really shocked. I actually love this palette a tad bit more because of one color. This color here, this brick red color, is, is kind of why I bought the Soft Glam palette. So one of the things, and I don't know if you can necessarily pick it up this far away on camera, but the one in the ABH palette kind of gets a little muddy and almost looks like the dark brown. The good part is the Arabesque palette does hold this more brick red color a little bit more. And really and truthfully, the brick red is why I love this palette. But the ABH, even when I was packing it on to get that color, it got muddy. Now, this one, by the time you put the brown around it, you kind of can't tell the difference, but it does pick up more pigmented or more bright like the palette versus getting muddy. So anyways, if you have, haven't bought either, either of these palettes, I would say 
skip the ABH and go straight to Shop Hush and pick up the Bad Habit. You don't, you don't need to spend almost $30 more to have the same quality and the same payoff as an ABH. Now, I will say that, and I'm not going to do an end of day video, the only thing that would stop me, or I would say don't use the $16 palette versus a $45 palette, is does this eye wear off quicker? than this eye during the workday. One of the things you can do is, and, and a lot of women do this, I sometimes do, I sometimes don't, is by using a setting spray. So for me, I typically will use a setting spray all over the face before I start my eyeshadow, and that helps. Now, if, as far as putting on a setting spray, you can make sure that you definitely hit the eyes so that you're setting that those powders and in hopes that at the end of the day you still have your eyeshadow look because you've set the powder in place no different than you have the rest of your face okay so i've given you a couple tips and tricks throughout this video hopefully to help your makeup stay or perform or be able to use palettes a little bit better um, at the end of the video, I went ahead and put a list of all the products that I used on my face. And then when I was thinking about it later, the only one that I missed was my foundation. Today, I know I'm going to be out and about a whole lot. So I wanted a power, more powerful pigmented foundation that I know lasts throughout the day because I'm going to be in and out of weather. And I, I think it's like... It's going to be above 100. We're not going to hit the high of like 111 that we have a couple days ago. But anyways, I use the Natasha Denona foundation just because this one performs really well. That's like in my arsenal all the time. Anyways, okay. So with that said, um, I hope you're going to enjoy this video, some of the tips and tricks. If you have different tips and tricks please put those below i'd love to try them out if you have any comments questions thoughts let me know again this left eye for me right eye for you is abh my right your left is going to be the arabesque palette and it this was just another fun dupe or be dupe video to do so i hope you enjoy this I hope that my comments help you with your purchasing power and maybe, you know, save some dinero for your pocketbook. Love it. Okay, right, so my card go. got full on one of my cards, so luckily I saw that before I went a little too deep. Okay, the next color, and I need to open back up the ABH because their names aren't the same. So the next color I'm going to pick up is this color Waltz. And and I guess I should back up. I'm going down all kinds of rabbit trails. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. So, orange soda was the one I used on the top of ABH. Satin is the one that I'm used on my right, your left. Then I went in with Rustic. And now I'm go on this side. Now I'm going in with Waltz on this side and so I'm above the crease line with both of those because I'm trying to build higher definition or higher color I'm trying to bring it up so that I'm not working just in my hooded space so these colors are going on nice they're not probably as pigmented as the ABH but that is okay to me the reason is, is sometimes it's easier to take something that is not as pigmented and then build up versus working with something overly pigmented and then kind of, you know, having to, having to work with it. This side, I use Cypress Umber. This side, I'm going to use Melodrama. And I'm picking this up in the crease and bringing it in to the inner corner of my eyelid and then I kind of with whatever products left on the brush I kind of just move it up to my eyebrow bone just to give kind of some additional blending goodness gracious I tied I'm tired all right 
I'm going to take the color, uh, this color was Mulberry. We're going to take this color, Believe. And I'm going to pat that here. And in all honesty, this Believe color is picking up more like the color in the pan. The ABH one kind of gets muddy. It, it's not as brilliant of a brick red when you get it on the eyelid, which is a little depressing. So I'm already liking this color, Believe, better than the Mulberry and the ABH palette. So now I'm going to take, I'm using the Beauty Bakery's Pancake Ice Cream as my lid color to do kind of that, a bit of that cut crease. I figure since I have these little paint pots from Beauty Bakery, I'm going to go ahead and use those to do some of the cut crease work because then I can keep my contour as, or highlight color as truly a highlight color. So anyhow, these Beauty Bakeries actually work really well either for an eyeshadow or a cut crease. Okay, I don't want to lose this line that I have right here. So what I'm going to do is I am picking up a finer tip brush. I'm going to go into the melodrama and I'm just going to make sure that I've got that built out high enough to give it that good kind of darker color right there so that the gold goes right up underneath it and it still has a very defined look. So in the Soft Glam palette, we use the color Bronze. In this palette, this is called Grand, Grand Plie. So we're going to pull some Grand Plie and we'll see how it goes. So very, very pretty. And the color is spot on to the bronze color in the ABH. Okay, picking back up my little fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with that color Believe again and kind of go over that line with Grand Plie so that we soften it a wee bit and we're kind of good there. Now, for a moment, I'm going to stop. <clears throat> I'm picking up the Makeup Geek Gel Liner in Immortal and we are going to do, go ahead and do the eyeliner. And then we're going to finish off the eye look. So that is one heck of a line. So I do, I've got a thick wing going on today. Why not? Now what we're going to do is pick up, I use Cypress Umber right there. So we're going to pick up Melodrama. And I'm going to pick it up on that finer pencil brush. And that's what we're going to do on the edge here and kind of fill, fill the outer C. And it's easier for me sometimes to do, to finish up these outer C's when I get the base of the wing. It's almost harder for me to do the full eye and then do the wing because then I, I don't know, I wish my eyeshadow was in a different spot. Basically, we now have an eye very similar. So this palette has a lot of fallout also. So I'm going to pick up a brush and kind of try to sweep that off. And that is about the look. Now I do, I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara and my false eyelashes and see if I need to adjust anything. But overall, I will say this palette has about as much fallout as the other, the original. And, but the colors on this works just as well. So my initial impression is that this is a spot on dupe that is pretty amazing. And we like spot on dupes that are pretty amazing, don't we? Yes, we do. So I really am looking forward to seeing what Bad Habit does with the Norvina palette because yeah, the Norvina palette is absolutely stunning. I've had a great time using it and creating, I think I filmed two looks. I was going to film a third today, but I really wanted to do this dupe video instead. Okay, and there we go. So overall, I think both, like for me looking, and I, I 
curious to see what you say. Side by side, I can't tell a difference. So I'm much rather spend $16 with Fallout versus $45 with Fallout. So this Arabesque palette from Bad Habit is pretty kicking. Uh, just so you know what the rest of my face is, I use the Hoola Bronzer for my contour. For highlight, I used Makeup Revolution, the concealer and define. For my blush, I used the color Golden Hour and then topped it with Sunlight from uh, as my highlighter. And this is from the Lorac Palette Los Angeles. We already talked about Beauty Bakery. Uh, lips, lips, lips are good. Okay, so the lip color I used as the base is from Storybook Cosmetics. This color is called Horror. So this is the darker color you see on the edge, but for the middle, I wanted to brighten that up and I used the Vice Special Effects and this color is in Seether. So we have a Seether Horrid look on my lips. Yep, that's right. Oh, and the lip liner I use is by Morphe and the color was Clingy. It just really looked good with this lip color horror from Storybook Cosmetics. So this is the first time I've used Storybook Cosmetics lips, I think, on one of my videos. I've had them. I just have not used them in a video to my knowledge. I have done the Urban Decay special effects on camera before, but I really like how this is picking up. Almost more of a fall look, but again, it's really fun. So I'm going to go finish up my hair. I thank you all for joining. Um, put your comments below. I'm totally looking forward to them. And I really, really hope you have a beautiful day. Until next time.